family is Sunday. I feel like every time you guys see me, I'm outside walking. But that's a good thing. I'm telling you, I'm getting my steps. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting my steps in every day. 248 pounds on the dot today, baby. We are getting there. I got a long walk ahead of me. Walking all the way to UPS, I have some returns. And then from UPS, I'm walking all the way to the gym. I have no idea what I'm gonna work out today. I think I, think I have to do arms today. Word of advice, always make sure the place you're walking to is open on Sunday. <laughs> Yo, UPS was closed. Horrible, 15 minute walk there for nothing. Now I gotta walk 15 minutes back home to drop off all my stuff and maybe walk to the gym. <laughs> I might drive to the gym now. Plans changed. I actually was able to change my Amazon return to Whole Foods instead of UPS. So I'm on my way to Whole Foods there's a LA Fitness right near there. So I'm deciding to work out at the LA Fitness. It's 1 p.m. I have not eaten. Only thing in my stomach right now is 20 ounces of black coffee. <laughs> Starbucks. to hit up assisted pull-ups my best friend gotta do the pull-ups for that v tape <laughs> as jake cutler says back movement your pull-ups that's gonna give you that v taper everyone wants to have that v taper i just finished doing five sets for five on the tricep push downs i think i got it to like 220 which is pretty high for me That was way too heavy for me. Brought it down to 60. Then I realized it had some of these uh, these extra weights on it. So brought it down to 60. You really want to make sure when you're lifting it, your arm is positioned in a way where you, on the come down, you really get that stretch. So when you bring it up controlled, the contraction is important, but you also want to make sure that you're getting that stretch. The stretch is when the muscle fibers tear and then you get that growth you might even have to like lean into it where you're really getting that stretch tilt your body over to the side ah, bring that bad boy up Woo! 40 minutes at the gym over i feel good i feel like i got a nice pump i finished off with three sets of tricep pull downs with the cables and then three sets with bicep curls with the cables. That Amazon return was really easy. It was like all automated. So now we can get to food shopping, my favorite thing. For the meat options out of everything here, this is the most interesting. I've never had it, but a lot of people rave about how good bison is. The macros are fantastic. I'm just scared if I have it, it'll destroy my stomach. So I have to do a little bit more research, but this is the this is the good stuff right here. Organic, 100% grass-fed ground beef. If I were to pick, I would choose the 93.7 just because it's a little bit leaner. And if you're having more than a pound of meat a day, the leaner the better, unless you have really high fat content, um, unless you're having a lot of fats every day not the most uh options for steak but these are organic grass-fed uh fillets and then you have the same over here for the ribeyes and uh new york strip so decent options they're kind of on the smaller side especially the ribeyes and the strip but decent options here you got they even have bison like this is crazy i might have to 
try one of these. If I do try it, I'm gonna go with the ground meat. Out of all the red meat options, uh, this is where I would focus on just the grass fed. Really quick on the eggs. If you're gonna do any, I would go pasture raised over free range just because pasture raised eggs have a higher square footage space requirement for them rather than free range. I haven't really been into chicken lately because it's really hard to find chicken that hasn't been fed corn or soy. But if you're gonna do chicken, try to get like, you know, organic chicken that aren't given hormones or, you know, any steroids. If you're eating the meat, you wanna make sure that the animal that you're eating has been eating the highest quality diet possible. For your seafood, as far as especially salmon, you wanna go wild caught salmon over farm raised. Farm raised is exactly what it sounds like. It's raised on the farm, it's not fed a wild diet. And then they also add color to the fish. If they never added the color, it would be basically this color here. And if it says Atlantic salmon, even if it doesn't say farmed raised, just automatically know it is farm raised because there's no such thing as wild Atlantic salmon. It is so hard to record in grocery stores, especially Whole Foods. So um, apologies if it was hard to hear me. Apologies if I was not able to articulate things um, as well as I wanted to. I was kind of nervous. There was a lot of people and I also didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable. Like that's my biggest thing. Like I don't want me recording to make anybody uncomfortable. First thing I want to say is like Whole Foods is not for the budget shopper. It's just not. If you're watching anybody's content and they're telling you the contrary, they're lying to you. It's Whole Foods is designed for people that are okay with spending a premium on a higher quality diet. If budget is not an issue for you, Whole Foods is hands down one of the best places to shop if you are that type of person that is health conscious and wants to shop at a place that has the most variety of better for you options, Whole Foods is king. Fundamentally though, everything I talked about can essentially be applied at any grocery store. Your protein, you wanna make sure that the protein you are eating has been fed the best quality diet. No soy, no corn, uh, no steroids, no hormones, no animal byproducts, which is why I try to eat things that are grass fed, that are not like caged up all day. Like I want the animal to have the best quality of life. And so I'm consuming the best version of that animal possible. As long as you're eating whole foods on your diet, and as long as you are eating foods that are as minimally processed as possible, you're doing better than unfortunately like 90% of the population. My rant is over. I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna have my first meal of the day. It is 2.30 p.m. Look at this meal. We have a pound of ground beef on two slices of bread, four eggs, 200 grams of strawberries, 100 grams of fig, water. That puts my total macros for this meal at 148 grams of protein, 80 grams of fat, and 64 grams of carbs. I'm gonna destroy this, relax, watch some TV, chill with my dog, peace. And that is going to wrap it up for Sunday, August 25th. To finish out the rest of the day, I had four eggs with turkey bacon on sliced bread with some fruit and peanut butter. That put my total calories for the day at 2,328 calories. And I made sure to get my 10,000 steps for the day. It's currently 9.30 p.m. I'm exhausted, work is tomorrow. So I hope you guys have a good night.